when I tell you that I have been waiting for this to arrive for such a long time, you have, you just won't understand. It's just, I can't even express to you this particular piece. This is the second time it's been sent to me. And honestly, I feel so, so awful for the designer. This is from one of my favorite designers ever. I have one of her pieces already, and I believe that whatever is in this box is my second piece. So I'm not going to even talk about it too much, but it's arrived just in time because this evening we are going somewhere absolutely spectacular. Like when I tell you I'm so excited to go to this place, you have no idea. So um, we've been invited to stay at Keythorpe Hall, which is actually not too far from where we live. And it's an exclusive use stately home. Similar in basically what we did when we got married, we hired a stately home and um, we had full use. It was basically became our home. Our entire families moved in and it was really lovely. So this is one of those places as well. And they have a two acre walled garden, which I don't actually think I'm ready to even see because it's just gonna make me want to move next door where they actually have a walled garden and it's exceptional. But um, yes, we're going to stay overnight. Basically, one of the things that I've obviously found that I have a huge passion for is exploring like old homes and stately homes around England. And I'm really lucky that I've been getting that opportunity to almost like feed that enjoyment. And honestly, I think to myself often, I'm like, if, I wonder if like, one day when like if I don't want to do this job anymore if they would ever let me have a tv show where I basically just take people around and explore the beautiful homes of England I'm sure there's probably a tv show like that already but if you're watching this and you think you know what that would make a lovely tv show It'd probably be on something like I don't even know what tv channels there are anymore but it wouldn't be on like a mainstream channel it'd be like a niche one I think and I would love that, explore the gardens, experience like how they cultivate their gardens, how they grow their vegetables, whether or not they obviously allow those places to be open to like hire or whatever. And this particular place, the place Keith Hall, is stunning. I genuinely think that this is going to be my dream home. I'm so excited. We're actually going to be having dinner with the owners this evening. All of the food and the produce is um, grown and cultivated on site. So we're gonna be experiencing the, the fruits of their labor from their beautiful walled garden. And Ali and I are going together, we're gonna to obviously be able to shoot there, spend some time there, get to, get to know it, get to explore, I'm so excited. So anyway, I was hoping that this dress was going to arrive and I wasn't hopeful because of everything that happened um, with the last one. It, I thought that maybe it was stuck at customs, but the actual reality was when we looked into it that that it had been lost and it's never been found again and the amazing team at Luciana Emilia have made me another one basically which I'm so grateful for but this is one of their special collaborations now if you don't know if you don't know I have a penchant for shirt dresses I love them but I love the idea of a shirt dress also being like elegant formal wear but something that you can dress down as well and this is, if I, I, do you know what, it'd be really funny if I get this open and it's actually not the dress, but it says the border force on it, so I'm thinking that it is. But this is her collaboration with Caitlin Wilson. If you don't follow Caitlin Wilson on Instagram, she's like the typical, beautiful, elegant, very uber feminine um, interior designer who is also just like a, a style queen in herself. This is her collaboration with Luciana Emilia and it is a match made in heaven. Please be it, please be it. Is it? Oh, it is! Is it? Oh my goodness! I love the little bows. Like, look how cute that is. Lydia. Second time's a charm. We are so sorry the first dress was lost in transit, but we're so happy we're able to send you a new one. We hope you adore your Luciana Emilia and Caitlin Wilson gown in the ever so classic blue bell striped silk. You are going to look gorgeous in it. Oh. <laughs> I hope this darling piece helps brighten your spring wardrobe. When I tell you that this is a dream piece for me, I genuinely, 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 it combines so many things 
into one piece that when I saw it, it was like, it, I just knew instantly. So, oh my gosh, it's the pinstripes for me. It is the pinstripes. Oh my gosh. So this looks almost like your husband's work shirt has been made into a beautiful 100% silk gown. And I love that it has that like androgynous feel to it in what is one of the most elegant silhouettes I think I've ever, ever come across. So the thing that is beautiful about these pieces is obviously that they are made from 100% silk. So there is no expense spared on this, but it's the design details that I love the most. First of all, it's the shirt design, but in order to give it extra drama, the dress essentially has like two layers where it has this dramatic, almost like cape. It's like they've taken inspiration from almost like Victorian couture, but dressed it up in this incredibly beautiful and modern and almost like girl boss gown. And I hate saying girl boss, but like boss gown. Let's forget the girl boss. Um, and it's just spectacular. But the thing that I loved about this is that this could be worn as I love, like daytime and nighttime. So you can dress this up with diamonds and pearls and really give it that like elegant edge but then you can also dress it down by adding your more day wear pieces, which is something that I really like to add in terms of like bags and belts. I like to be able to wear these things in as many ways as possible. You could drape a blazer over the shoulders of this. There are so many options and I'm in love. I've got to try it on straight away, but it's Stunning. And basically these pieces are essentially like made to order. So you can't just like buy this off the rack. This is something that is crafted and made just for you essentially. And even the labels have your like, your name in them. This says exclusively for Lydia Millen at the Atelier of Luciana Emilia. Like this is what I love about these pieces. They are exquisite. And you can just imagine like wearing this somewhere beautiful like Capri or um, Tuscany. I mean, this is definitely coming on our holidays this year with me, but I wanted to take this with me to Keythorpe Hall because I thought it would be so wonderful to try and shoot this there. I'm going to take my blue gingham one as well because I also have, I've got the blue gingham one as well. And oh my gosh, I just, I love it so, so much. This, you could even add like a tweed blazer over the top of this and it would just work, it would just look beautiful. So I'm gonna try it on with you now because I know I've been terrible at trying things on recently and I'm gonna get it on now. Okay, how is that for some drama? Please ignore the box, but oh my gosh, I've popped it with my little Chanel wicker one because I think that's gonna be so cute for summer. Um, but as you can see, this is like this huge, huge chain, but I know I always say this, but this would make such a wonderful wedding guest dress, but it would also, something a little bit different, make such a wonderful mother of the bride dress. Something that's still really like modern, but super chic. Like imagine you could put like a hat with this. Oh my gosh, and you'd still feel like so smart, but still dramatic without any sort of like worry or anything like that. I know it can be sometimes a little bit like, frantic for mums that they, they want to look lovely but they don't want to look like they're you know trying to upstage the bride or anything like that I think this is like so so dramatic but also as you can see I've got it on with flats and I would be able to wear this with flat shoes for that really like like in your face but well I just think it's like elegant like it's super elegant but it doesn't have to be with heels obviously I've got like kitten heels that I can pop them with as well but for me this is something that you could even wear with like white really classic white plimp soles and sort of like a big oversized tan bag I'm gonna get my other tan bag hold on wait there like for me this is garden party whatever vibes but also something that that can be sort of more on the dressy side of day wear now I know people think that I'm so extra and I appreciate that I am actually very extra and I'm okay with that. I think I've made peace with it now. Um, but even like you could pop this with, in fact, I've got some blue. So obviously I appreciate that my tan flats are a little bit, you know, they're a little bit loved. 
<laughs> as I would say. So you could, for a bit of a dressier feel, go for flats, but the Manolo Blahnik Hangisi in the classic blue. It goes so well. I love this so much. Oh my gosh, I'm honestly like, I don't think I've been this obsessed with a designer since like Erdem. This is just so wonderful. Obviously I've got it unbuttoned to here. Um, but you can pop like a little cami underneath it. I just love the structure and the color. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Yeah, definitely shooting this, oh my goodness. What I really hope is that next year she'll do the, the, the blue gingham that I've got. I'm hoping that she's gonna do it in green. That's what I hope for. <laughs> So anyway, what I've got to do now is basically pick out some outfits and some dresses and things like that because I'm going to want to shoot when we get there, um, even though the weather in the UK is bizarre at the moment. Like, it is so windy. I actually don't think I've ever seen it this windy. Um, it's blown over so much stuff in our garden. Um, but that is the plan of action for the day. I need to sort through all of my stuff, organise my dressing room and pick out some exceptional pieces to shoot at Keythorpe Hall. And obviously then we're gonna drive there today. We're gonna to go in the new car, drive to Keythorpe Hall and experience it. So basically just to give you a bit of a, an overview, um, I discovered this place online called Lloyd and Townsend Rose. And they're essentially like, almost like, and I don't wanna do them a disservice, but it's like Airbnb, but for stately homes and castles. And it's where you go to find some of the most beautiful places. And if you want to take them for exclusive hire, you can do so. And I'm basically exploring these houses with them at the moment. So I'll pop their uh, profile in the description box down below. They're insanely cool houses as well that they have, like houses, manors, castles. It's very exciting. And I'm discovering so many that are like local as well. And I just love being able to show this to you guys. It, I, don't, I think you can see how excited I get over it as well. So yeah. Anyway, <laughs> well, I've started putting aside some bits that I haven't shot yet. So I've got some new in pieces from LK Bennett. This maxi dress looks gorgeous. Obviously my parterre dress. More from LK Bennett. Obviously the two gowns. I've actually got quite a lot that I could ship. I've got some caramel and pieces over there as well. But I've just had a delivery from Rebecca Masada. I've not even had a chance to like even think about spring wreaths yet and I think because it's been so miserable the weather and stuff I've just not even been thinking about it and we've ordered some flowers to take with us to where we're going this evening and Rebecca has sent me a very lovely wreath this is so gorgeous it's got pheasant feathers in there there's also this beautiful linen bow and what have we got there they've got lots of olive branches and foliage is that a little bit of wax flower in there? I'm not sure. But it means I can refresh the one on my door. But these are the beautiful flowers. Oh wow, these are spectacular. They almost look like crocuses. Beautiful flowers with some tulips and some roses to take with us to um, give to the owners of, uh, of the, the house that we're going to this evening. So very happy about that. I've just popped it up on the door and it looks so lovely. Lovely thought. What is this? Goodness me. Well, the miserable weather is in full swing, so I am definitely in full winter mode. The boots are back on, people. The boots are back on. Um, but I've got my new belt on from Hermes. I put a special hole, on it, hole in it using my little hole punch that I get from Amazon. So handy, because they didn't have my size of this belt, so I bought the next size up and decided I was gonna put my own punch in it. And it's worked perfectly because it has different sizes. I'll see if I can find the one that I've actually got. Um, but yeah, so I'm wearing that with my vintage Kelly. Uh, my suitcase is packed, but this is not everything. And we're only going for one night, but obviously we're going there mainly to explore, but also shoot. Um, so I have an abundance of dresses packed and loads of different outfits. There's Holland Cooper in there. There's Karen Millen. There's Beaufort and Blake. There's all of my favorite sort of fashion brands in there. Oh, H&M as well. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna get the chest closed up and I think we're about ready to hit the road because we are gonna be joining the owners for dinner, which I'm really looking forward to. Mr. Millen Gordon is already on the humbugs for the journey and we are heading out, but I'm gonna put my hot stone ooh, massage on. Do you want yours on? Yes, yeah, so yours is already on hot stones, but if you wanna change the setting, click it. 
top stones. And then the top is the massage type. Yeah. And then the middle is the direction. The intensity and five. The intensity. Yeah, we've always been always yeah. giving ourselves some good times. <laughs> okay, I'll do yours as well. Yours should be hot stone as well. There we go. So I'm using mine for the first time. I've not used this, but Ali did a trip to Norfolk for work um, last week, and him and his friend Rahul were embracing the hot stone massages for the entirety of the trip. And uh, I'm enjoying the same. Oh wow, loads of trees down. It has been so windy today like the windiest I've ever seen it. I actually can't believe how, and it always makes me really sad, but I know that it kind of has to happen in a woodland that almost sustains itself, but yeah. yeah. It does make me sad when I see trees down. But yeah, humbugs. They could, do, they could do getting a chipper through there really and chipping it all up. Yeah, that's true. We are en route to Keythorpe Hall, which I am so, I know I've been saying all day, but I'm very excited. Um, yeah, me too. We have arrived. To Keythorpe Hall. We got a little bit lost, but we are currently going up the driveway now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I need to stop saying that, but I'm so excited. I just love this so much. Going and looking at beautiful houses, yeah, literally. I'm looking forward to seeing it in the morning. Yeah, so, yeah, in the morning, but seeing it at night is a rare delicacy. Oh, bun buns. <laughs> bun buns. <laughs> you know exactly what it will hold. It. Yeah. Gosh, very lovely long driveway. Wow so tucked away oh here we go do, do, do. oh wow do you know what this reminds me of the part in the crown when Muhammad al-Fayed is on waiting outside yeah. and they come to collect the Queen's belongings oh wow oh my goodness oh my gosh you can see the grand piano well we have arrived to Keythorpe Hall and I am lost for words. First and foremost, this artwork we need to touch on, but I thought first of all, I will show you our spectacular bedroom here in the main house. This is where Ali and I are going to be sleeping this evening. Again, this artwork is in here as well. So we have these beautiful pieces printed onto the lampshades here. I actually already follow this artist and I found them through the Instagram of Keythorpe Paul. Just look at this detailing. Oh my goodness, this chair. And then we come through into our bathroom, our ensuite bathroom, complete with a very exceptional portrait in the shower. Burnished brass tub which I imagine is looking over a spectacular view and oh my goodness look at this so I'm gonna put my bits and pieces down but just to explain to you that we're staying at Keythorpe Hall for the evening and it is basically an exclusive higher stately home in the English countryside but we wanted to bring you here to show you um, something a bit different. I think there are, I always say this, but I think that there are a lot of places in England that get a lot of coverage and actually there are some incredible places to visit outside of those places and I don't want to show you too much this evening because it's dark. I feel like you're not going to get the full view of this place. Um, but we're staying over for the evening and we just had dinner with the owners, Barbara and Giles and Ali and I kept saying over and over again, I feel like I need to have a notebook. <laughs> Most fascinating couple. We've learned so much um, this evening, but also just got so many incredible, great, incredible tips. And I found another wine that I wanna purchase very soon, something completely different than I've had before, but incredible food. And basically the, um, the, the epicenter of everything here is sustainability, homegrown, home cultivated, wonderful ingredients grown in their two acre um, walled garden which I cannot wait to show you. Everything is very simplistic but the best quality ingredients um, and I think the thing that for me that I've noticed just from having my quick tour is the attention to detail. For this to be dreamed up from a couple this is something that most most hotels in the fanciest of places are unable to bring to life and so i'm genuinely i'm in awe at the moment but i'm gonna get myself settled we're about to go to bed so yeah can't wait to show you more i'm currently in my pajamas and we're about to get ready for bed but 
What I want to show you is one of the coolest things about my car. I will one day stop going on about how cool my car is. So I get a notification within minutes of it not being unlocked, with not being locked, and I just do this. Just swipe down and it locks. I think that is such a cool function. Right, Ali and I are in bed ready for what is gonna be an early morning tomorrow and it is almost one o'clock. Um, but we had too much fun this evening and probably stayed up a little bit late, but I'm so excited to be able to explore the entire house and the grounds with you tomorrow. However, funny story. I don't know how I've managed it, but I've forgotten my toothbrush. And I don't know if you know, but we've spoken about this before. Mr. Millen Gordon will kiss me, but he will not share a toothbrush or a bit of cutlery. He won't share anything like that with me. And so obviously I've realized I've forgotten my toothbrush. And so I've said, I'm really sorry, babe, but is it okay if um, I share your toothbrush? And he had packed a spare toothbrush head in anticipation of the day that I forget my toothbrush so that he doesn't have to share his toothbrush head with me. I honestly, I can't believe it again. <laughs> it's so awful. And then he was like, whatever you do, make sure that you take your head off and put it on your side of the sink. And do you know what? I didn't do it. You didn't? <laughs> no, I forgot. What? So who's... So it's still on the tooth toothbrush. Ah, oh, that's fine. As long as I know. As long as okay. I know, it's fine. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but I'd rather not have the same bristles that have been cleaning your teeth in my teeth. <laughs> it's so weird. Why is that weird? I just think it's so weird. It's like you'd kiss the same mouth. No, I don't kiss your teeth. <laughs> I mean, there's many other things that are done in a loving relationship, babe, but, you know. Nothing like putting built up food from somebody's <laughs> teeth and then putting it into my mouth. That's a different level. <laughs> I'm not into that. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, I will see you guys in the morning. I'm looking forward to seeing everything in the daylight because we have no idea of how beautiful the setting is. It's very quiet here. That's one thing I would say is that I visited a lot of stately homes and I think I said this when I went to um, Ashby Manor House is that a lot of them are situated in like right by main roads or in quite built up areas now because as obviously times pro progressed areas have become more built up especially through the countryside there's been a lot of main roads built but it seems very quiet here and apparently the views from our bedroom window are spectacular so I'm going to go to bed and hopefully I will be waking up with the view. Oh my gosh. Oh, the views. This is unreal. Wow. Do you see them? Mm. Morning. <laughs> and this is the slightly condensation-y room. Uh, view, sorry, and uh, you can very sporadically hear pheasants and the birds. This is what I mean. There is, it's very rare to have this kind of countryside with a house like this still. Usually it's very built up nowadays, but this is unreal. It's so quiet and the views just go on and on. It's a bit overcast today. Oh my gosh, there's a deer running through the field. Oh no, it's a hare. Wow. But yeah, these are the views. Time to get ready for the day. I spotted this beautiful book on the table, which is The Tulip by Anna Pavord. And I think I'm definitely gonna have to try and um, hunt this book down because it looks like a very, very interesting book and it is exceptionally beautiful. I'm loving these flowers. This is exactly the same. This is a, from a European plum tree, which is the same that we've got in our garden, babe. And this is exactly what we put by our fireplace in the living room. In springtime, we, al we allow it to dry out and we just keep it there. And I got rid of it last year and I'm actually really sad that I got rid of it. So we need to do another arrangement. 
And I love how this looks. And actually, they haven't got such a big vase, but the arrangement is massive. I love the proportions of that. And I love this table. This is definitely a Ron Green antique style table. I love that. And this chair. Oh, in daylight, everything's even more beautiful. Look at the colours against my bag. Beautiful tapestry florals. I will eventually stop going on about how beautiful everything is, but I love this little chair situated. This old pink velvet chair that's worn and well-loved with a little side table situated just looking out over the views. What a lovely touch. Good morning, everyone. You will be able to hear the sound of the shower. Um, Ali's just jumping in now before we head down for breakfast um, here at Keythorpe Pool. But I thought I'd tell you a little bit more about it. Apologies, I've just woken up, but our time is very limited here and I want to make sure that you know how spectacular this place is. So um, obviously we arrived last night in the evening and um, we, we got a bit lost. The sat nav took us somewhere else, so we were running a bit late. And basically, Keythorpe Hall is very similar to where we got married in terms of um, you, you take exclusive use of the property. And what that means is you essentially move in and it becomes your home away from home. So at the moment, this is our new home. And um, you take on all of the staff that they have here. So they have chefs, um, housekeeping, they have gardeners, they have everything basically. And they look after you as if it was like a hotel, but a hotel that is more of a home. Um, which in all honesty we've done this a few times we did this obviously for our wedding we also did this in Provence and it is one of my favorite ways to like experience hospitality in this way it was basically the Keythorpe Hall was bought by Giles and um, Barbara I think over 10 years ago and they have spent the last 10 years um, restoring this place in the most I actually can't put into words. I'm so excited to, to show you around, but in the most loving way I think I've ever seen a family who's obviously going to share their home in that way. There's, they have just thought of absolutely everything, but yet their taste is so beautiful and there's nothing's forgotten, even down to the toilet paper. The company Who Gives a Crap, which is basically all sustainably um, made and produced toilet paper, um, and they've just thought of absolutely everything. So basically today we are, last night we arrived, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to just go back and show you a few clips of our dinner, which was pre which was um, prepared by the chef here. He was a Danish chef, and um, but he'd also put a sort of modern twist on a quite traditional English dish, which was, um, I think we had venison cobbler. It was delicious, um, but we had so much to talk about with the couple as well, because obviously both Ali and I are learning quite a lot about nutrition at the moment, and the, the origins and the um, production of the, the ingredients and the food that they produce at Keythorpe Hall is a huge focus for them. Like I said, they have a two acre walled garden, which they have restored themselves. So they initially bought the main house, They've then managed to buy back, because it was sold off separately, the walled garden, and it was going to be developed into um, houses. They saved it, and this is something that I'm so passionate about as well. The fact that these old homes are being saved in this way genuinely sets my heart on fire. And they have recently reacquired the servants' quarters, the original servants' quarters, FYI, the servants' quarters are also bigger than our house. 7,000 square foot of servants' quarters, and that's actually going to end up being their main living space. And um, obviously the house is going to be the actual business, but basically what they've um, they communicated to us is that they have this love for this property. Um, but as we've seen in many period dramas, these houses require a lot of upkeep. And in order to do so and keep them maintaining their former glory of the golden ages, um, allowing people to experience them in this way is a really quite a special way of doing things because obviously it's not open to the public. You hire it for exclusive use. So it is essentially you and your friends or you and your family um, and you move in. So it's a very personal experience. It's not necessarily like you're going to be treating the, the place badly, so it's, it's really lovely. I'm actually quite impressed as well about the, the price in order to hire this place off season and on season. Um, they say that a lot of their clients are American as well, so a lot of people from America looking for that sort of traditional British experience. 
and it's in the Leicestershire countryside, so it's not too far from us. We're quite well situated where we are in terms of getting to places. And as I said, lots of places get a lot of, um, a lot of love in the UK, which I'm not mad about, but there are some really, really quite exceptional places. And this is where I think you'll get the value for money and the real sort of no holes barred experience because it's, um, it can get sort of quite, what's the word? In other places in England, sometimes it can get a bit, not forced, I think that's unfair to say that. It's just, it's more like, maybe there isn't the passion there anymore. I'm not, I'm not sure, but this here, the one thing that I can feel is there is love and passion in this particular home. So anyway, um, when you enter your room, um, they basically tell you about everything. So all of the bed linen is from a company called uh, Sukun which uses 100% uh, Otex certified cotton with a satin weave to give it a sil silkier feel. They use 4,000 thread count for all of their sheets to ensure quality, breathability, and a luxurious feel. Their bath products are handcrafted in Melton Mowbray. I was gonna ask them whether they were gonna do a um, twist on the, the pie from Melton Mowbray, the, the, the pork pie, because um, I believe that's what Melton Mowbray is um, famous for which is 20 minutes from Keythorpe. Um, certified organic, all ingredients from botanical to packaging are sourced in a sustainable manner. Bathroom products are packaged in fully recyclable plastic to avoid glass use for safety reasons. There's a soap and shampoo bar, which is sourced nearby in Summerby, which is 15 minutes. The Lupe bit is obviously who gives a crap, which is a certified B Corp, meeting the highest standards of social and environmental impact. 50% of their profits are donated to help build toilets and improve sanitation in the developing world and the paper is made from 100% recycled bamboo fibers. The cleaning products are Delphi Eco, which is both in the kitchen, and it's free from any negative environmental impact. And the heating for this house was originally oil, but they fitted a biomass boiler and are now using local wood chip as an energy source. And when I tell you, the radiators in this house, I've never seen anything like it. They're huge, not to mention the windows. I have never stayed or experienced a home like this in the English countryside that has floor to ceiling windows. That is a real, a real special feature because um, I, I believe back in the old days, windows were actually taxed. Um, so to have these huge floor to ceiling windows, uh, where we live there's a lot of uh, follies where they were obviously just faux windows that were bricks because they didn't want to put the glass in to make them actual windows. But this is phenomenal, the, the, the size of them and they let us know that when they moved in all of the windows were actually painted shut and they had to go around. I don't want to know how many windows there are, but they had to free the windows essentially. Um, but yes, anyway, I'm gonna get myself up and dressed and re ready to head down for breakfast. Um, I want to shoot some content today, but I also think that I'm going to want to explore and experience this place quite a lot. So I think I'm going to be pulled in every which direction that I can uh, be pulled in, but I'm excited to experience it all. Well, little did I know that this was going to end up being the perfect little makeup seat. Looking out over this beautiful countryside view. At the moment it's sleeting. There's a little bit of snow coming down, which we knew was going to happen, um, but it should clear up a little bit later. But this is perfect. Right, I've set up at my little makeup station and you might have seen in my um, last vlog that um, when I was in Madrid, I was trying to find a like really lovely day and night cream but they wouldn't give me um, samples to try when I was there and so I went and got some samples locally and ended up taking the plunge and getting the Elizabeth Arden Advanced Ceramide Lift and Firm Day Cream. I got the night cream as well, this is the SPF 15 and this, I don't even know if it's going to come across on camera but it's, when I put this on my skin it is like nothing that I've ever experienced. There's a small amount of radiance in this and it is super rich, but it doesn't like leave any like residue. Everything is just soaked up by um, your skin and it is literally the perfect base for makeup. I don't know if you'll be able to see. In fact, I'll show you once it's on my face. Basically, I wanted something that was rich so that my skin was getting a good, a good drink and good nourishment. 
but also something that was working to really sort of like um, keep my skin in its best health. Because you know, it's my 35th birthday next week. Uh, not next week, next month. And every year I sort of refresh my skincare to ensure that I'm working on the things that I should be. So just to show you how much, like there's just, it makes my skin look so awake and so radiant whilst also having the minerals and the ingredients to actually do good things for your skin. I'm in love with this and the night cream is the perfect pairing. So I think I've been building out my skincare recently and I obviously I use my skin and me and I've got a lot of pieces from, um, a lot of products from Beauty Pie that I use, but I really, really wanted to get myself a high grade, almost like, a lot of a lot of Elizabeth Arden products are scientifically proven and that's the one thing that I feel like we should all listen to our mums on because I learned very early on that mums just want Elizabeth Arden. They just want Elizabeth Arden because they know that their products actually work and my mum is always like I wish I'd started using the products earlier and so that's what I'm doing. I'm taking my mum's advice basically and um, I think the bottles and the tubs are really beautiful as well but I am obsessed, like I genuinely look forward to getting this on my skin every morning before makeup. It's the perfect base. Well, I've popped on a very practical outfit for breakfast this morning. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Mr. Will and Gordon is in his new and Lingwood dressing gown. He looks so smart. I actually can't cope. Um, I am wearing my Seuster and Hicks made to measure black label jacket. This is kind of my Celine inspired jacket and the sunshine, if you can't tell on my face, the sunshine has come out so much earlier than we imagined and it is pure blue skies. Look at these views. There's a little pheasant down there sat on a rock. <laughs> little fat pheasant just sat on there. <laughs> so we're going to get ready and head down for breakfast. Look at this spectacular view. Wow. I thought I would give you a quick outfit of the day. I'm wearing Paige Denim jeans, Amazon rubber boots, um, Karen Millen cashmere jumper, Seuster and Hicks black label jacket in Catrapoly fabric, and my vintage Kelly from Parisian Suite. Couldn't get my words out then, but we're going to head down for breakfast. breakfast is being prepared I thought I would give you a quick tour of the downstairs of this house I'll show you outside as well um, but we're just waiting for coffees and for breakfast um, so this is the entrance sort of porch area all with the beautiful traditional features I can't believe the the hinges these are things that you notice when you're 35 is these hinges but um, beautiful willow baskets a couple of chairs this is the entrance of my dreams, this stunning green entranceway with the most spectacular, wild and wonderful arrangement on the, on the table here. They have a Keythorpe Hall uh, guest book. They have the biggest fireplace I have ever seen in a home. All of the furniture here has been selected so beautifully. The artwork, some of it is original that they've been able to save, that they were moved around and then they were able to bring them back to their home here at Keythorpe Hall. We obviously have the wonderful grand piano, which I, uh, this is a dream of mine to have a grand piano in my home. Um, but in an entrance way, wowzers. I mean, that really is something. So there is a dual fireplace here. I think they only have one working, but um, two fireplaces in this stunning, beautiful sort of off green entrance way, all of the stunning Persian rugs. And then you come through into the hallway, which is a spectacle in itself in this beautiful, sort of a pinky red shade a lot of the the shades are from edward bulmer or their original the um in this particular room this is the original color that was in here and 
Apologies, my battery died there, but this is the main sort of entertaining living space and the couple Barbara and Giles were telling us yesterday that they actually bought these old sofas from Babington House and they are a triumph. Beautifully aged, like almost money green, mossy green, rounded sofas. I've never seen Chesterfields like this and they are absolute perfection in this room. I love these wild displays in the unused fireplaces as well. And these fireplaces are something else. But look at these views and these windows. And I love how they've positioned these chairs in front of the windows for people to just sit and look out over the rolling fields. That is something else. And these blossom displays. And then into the sort of second part of this main entertaining space. And I'm sorry, but... If I don't have a fireplace with arrangements like this in my next house, I am, I don't want it. <laughs> I want ceilings as high as this and arrangements as beautiful and wild as this as well. I, I just, it is so beautiful and I love how nothing matches. Like they've curated the perfect mismatched antique uh, situation but they've really um, modernized things but in a sympathetic way using beautiful fabrics alongside more traditional fabrics they have contemporary art alongside their more traditional art pieces um, which is obviously important to make these things your own and um, it's it's obviously their home when they don't have guests staying here but um, it, everything fits and flows I love the little touches, the, the whiskey tumblers on the side there, the books, if you look at all of the books. Everything says something about the people that live here, the things that they value, and that is something that Ali and I try and really um, thread through our own home. This particular piece um, was imported from France, I believe. A friend of theirs found it in their wine cellar, and it now has its forever home here in the almost grand salon. Um, with the original artworks from Keith Keithorpe Hall as well. These would have been portraits of people that lived here. And some of the things that I've noticed and love about this place is that they really value the local produce of the area and supporting, um, whether it's artists, um, ceramicists, producers of, of food and ingredients and alcohol. They really, they're really championing the local people around here, but also this isn't a silver service style place. This is your home comforts, really beautifully prepared, um, considered and thoughtful everything, basically, just from the products that they use here to the food. And I think that food is a real emphasis. So we're about to go and have some coffee. I'm going to continue to show you more of the house. I'm going to show you some of my outfits as well, but I feel very, very lucky to be getting to explore this place whilst they all chat away in the room next door. But that view is something else. My goodness. just finished up breakfast and what a breakfast so wonderfully simplistic but yet I'm fully inspired and I have some incredible news Ali has said that we can get chickens I literally could cry but I'm not gonna cry because I have to shoot today but he said we can get chickens so I think that's gonna be my birthday present this year oh my gosh so excited so they basically we had like a wonderful conversation over dinner um, and they were explaining how wonderful having chickens was and I think something they've said has been able to convince Mr Mill and Gordon that chickens are a grand idea and that's what we're gonna do but whilst the boys are doing some shots I'm gonna head down with Giles and Barbara to explore the gardens obviously it's very pre-spring so there isn't gonna be much here to see but in terms of you'll be seeing the first sort of um, bulbs coming up and the first blossoms and buds but it won't be in full bloom I'm going to see if it's possible that later on in the season whether I can come back and see the gardens then because as you know I like gardens um, so we're gonna go and explore the two acre walled garden I can't believe I'm getting chickens wow so this is how 
like at the RHS garden, you see those neatly clipped box hatches. Yes. Yeah, this is, happens. This happens. When you don't touch it for. So this is what happens to yeah. box if you don't trim yeah. it. Wow. <laughs> That's like... This garden wasn't touched. Oh my goodness. And so this is the rhubarb that we've been having. Uh, yeah, some of the forest rhubarb is in there. Yeah. Right. So who had been living here before it you? It was sold off separately to the house again after the war. Ah. Um, and this was under offer to the developer when we bought it, when we bought the house and then bought this at the same time. So that would have been a greenhouse? Yeah, like a vine house where you grow the vines so vines like their roots cold. So you put the roots outside and there's like a hole in the wall. Of course. And you drain them in and then... But I mean, do you know what? It looks so beautiful, oh, yeah. just the way that it is. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, it's not that safe to go inside, but... I love it. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, but I would love to make that into um, an event space or yes. a restaurant in the middle of a vegetable farm. Yes. Oh my gosh, yeah. yes. So, so this is what we've been having. Yeah, so when you exclude light, yeah. they grow up and they become really tender and really pink. And that's a Yorkshire Force rhubarb. Yorkshire is really known for it. Wow. And it grow kind of earlier. And you get more crop by using these um, steel bins than using the actual rhubarb forces. Oh no, we the rhubarb forces we had them initially. Yeah. They're so tiny. Yeah, that's what they I'm seeing. They look really nice. They look beautiful, but I mean, this beautiful <gasps> steel bins is just as effective. Wow. Tulips and. This is stock. Um, that is snapdragons with a crop of salad in between. Because yeah. Claudio is very much about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's all tulips. And then here we got the ranunculus. <gasps> ranunculus. Yeah. Nice yes. Like roughly goodness they are. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> My goodness me. Yeah, so this is all ranunculus. Wow. Kind of planted at different times so we can spread the, uh, spread the flowering a little bit. But here, coming in belt. <gasps> oh my Not goodness. Far off. Yes. So is this polytunnel heated? No. Gosh, it's so warm. I know. Wow. I was just saying that these chickens will forever go down in history as the chickens that cinched the deal for me because I cannot believe that we've been, been able to convince Mr. Mill and Gordon that chickens are a great idea. Good morning! Good morning! <laughs> Breakfast time! <laughs> ah, I see! You can see the condition it's in. Yes, wow! That is so wonderful that you've been able to yeah. join that back to the, to the property because it just it's like it was always supposed to, wasn't it? Look at the difference in the upkeep of the windows for, for yours <laughs> in, the, in comparison. Uh, like... And so this is the, the kitchen yeah, oh, and yeah, then yeah, the flat above. Yeah, exactly, above. in the flat above, yeah. So and that they... was an old squ squash court. An originally. old squash yeah, court? Yeah, so back in the day, very, one of the very early ones. <laughs> wow! And you see in the kitchen, Ben's kitchen still has a line, the squash court um, <laughs> line we left out. My goodness. Um, Wow. Fun. So because we obviously haven't got much in the garden at the minute, um, we dry lots for like herbal teas um, and like flame, so meadow sweet like this morning. Hogweed really tastes like um, cardamom. So you can eat hogweed seeds? Hogweed seeds, yeah, not the giant hogweed. Hog no, no, the, the, the ones the that are under a, yeah. yes. Wow. And they taste like, if they're green, they're a bit like bitter orange flavor. And ah. then when they're... Um, more dry, it's more like a cardamom green cardamom My goodness, I'm so inspired by this. But we tried to not import anything, so obviously some spices like pepper we have yes. to, but although we have um, two days pepper, um, what is it's it like, like Szechuan pepper. pepper we grow. Wow. Just to show you the scale of things here, this is the back of house kitchen. So this is where the chefs work from to provide the food um, here at Keythorpe Hall. And I'm very, very happy to see a Thermomix on board. Um, very, very happy customer of Thermomix. But this is what you're basically experiencing. It is really that, like, it's almost like a private hotel experience with the fully working kitchen. Um, but you're completely private in this beautiful, beautiful location. This is the grand hallway upstairs. 
and I believe that this is the wall that connects the house to the servants' quarters, so the, the family are able to move into the servants' quarters when um, they have guests. Then you come up the stairs into one of the first bedrooms, which I'm naming the tapestry bedroom, because this beautiful tapestry behind the bed here is exceptional. As you can see, all of the details have been thought of. Fresh flowers in every room, it smells so beautiful. We've got hyacinth and blossoms in here, it's stunning. And every room has water bottles and glasses, more tapestries. Everything is just beautiful. So this was actually an additional room in here. And they've added the wonderful Thomas Crapper uh, fixtures in here, which is definitely something that I would do um, if I was redoing the bathrooms in the house. I love that, and I love these little corner seats that they've got, and everything has just, just the perfect books of choice. The English Garden, the English Gardening School, Organic Kitchen Garden, Creating Your Garden Farm, perfect toilet reading. <laughs> this is my first outfit that I've just shot with Ali, and oh my gosh, I can't wait to wear this in spring summer. Um, it's the perfect room, it's so dramatic in here, and yeah, next outfit, but I popped it with some... Um, Manolo Blahnik little flat hangisies and like I said you can swap out this bow and pop like a tan belt with it and dress it down a little bit. I often see Caitlin Wilson wearing this quite like relaxed and um, almost like daytime wear as well so yeah I love it. Next up we are shooting one of my favourite Zimmerman dresses ever, I will show you this shortly. And I'm hoping to shoot this for a new fragrance for Serge Lutin. This fragrance is so like unique but rich this smells like it belongs in a boudoir it is honestly like something i don't think i would have normally thought to like pick up but it's one of those fragrances that as it settles it just surprises you more and more and more and it gets more and more exciting more and more interesting and you know that you're never going to smell like anybody else and as you know niche, niche fragrances are my jam i love them i love having something that is timeless but super super elegant and unique and serge lutin is one of the best brands for them so very excited to shoot this today in between my shoots ali is shooting with his manager james and what i'm doing whilst i'm waiting is shopping for chicken coops. I'm thinking this is the thing that I want to go for. Something a bit rustic, but obviously because of the um, avian flu at the moment, we have to ensure that they have a proper enclosure. I'm gonna have to do some proper research, but I'm loving shopping for my chicken coops. <laughs> yeah, just having a little break for lunch. And when we finish lunch, I'm gonna give you a bit more of a tour upstairs um, because there's a number of artists like this particular lady here who's a botanical artist and does uh, fabrics and things like that. I discovered her work through Keythorpe Hall and I now follow her on Instagram and I'm waiting for her to drop some new linens because her stuff is incredible, so I'll show you some of those. But I think that one of the standout areas of this home is this hallway and staircase. It is honestly so decorative. There is so much detail. I love this little nook just here and I think this is where it connects to the servants area and you can see that there's fresh flowers on every surface beautiful artwork and I mean look at this detailing on the woodwork it is exceptional green mustard salads from the garden and a cheese puff twist <gasps> served with um, an apple and rosemary mustard Wow. Yeah, amazing. Wow. It looks ideal. Do, do you know what? Oh, yeah, it just smells incredible. My goodness. Wow. Potato. These are cheese twists, and then we have the potato balls. And um, greens from the garden, then we have the goose, and goose, goose leg. And then the goose crispy thing as well. Yes, yes. goose skin and goose leg. Yeah. My goodness me, this is absolutely exceptional. Continuing my tour, 
This is a sort of, not like, it's like a dual bedroom with a bathroom in the, in the middle. This is the first bedroom and it is painted in a beautiful, this is very similar to Vert de Terre, but all of the paints in the house are Edward Bulmer natural paints, which I definitely think is a paint brand that I'm going to be exploring because um, they are absolutely beautiful and they're all natural of course which is something that I'm quite passionate about. Um, so in this room this is a room where we have more of the botanical artwork from the lady. I can't remember her name I'll put her details in the description box down below um, but this is one of her lampshades and it fits beautifully in this room. This actually has a beautiful view over the front of the property um, all of the old trees and I don't think I've ever been to a house where every window you look at or, out of there's not another house you can't see anybody else and it's absolutely wonderful and actually the house sits in the center of um, at like I think it's about 25 acres so it's just surrounded by its own land which is such a treat um, but yes this is a bedroom of beautiful fabrics and then you come through here and instantly when I came through I enjoyed the Fornasetti wallpaper a lot. This is the exact wallpaper that we used to have in our downstairs cloakroom, RIP. Um, and this, this window looks out over um, the, the same view as the other place. But look how cute this is! All of the bathrooms are done by Drummond's as well, which I am actually very, very inspired. Um, this shower is so spectacular it's like a standalone shower so you can literally put it anywhere and you just plumb the the uh water feeds in and oh wow and then into this room please note all of the carefully curated antiques but the little touches um every room has a little bit of rhubarb gin that will have been made here at keythorpe hall but this is the fabric that I absolutely fell in love with. And in fact, I tried to buy these cushions, these exact ones, but they were sold out and they've made the, this is obviously a fox glove, glove print with bumblebees and butterflies. There are some applique butterflies up there and the bumblebees are actually flocked on this particular tapestry. It is the most beautiful piece of botanical art I think I have ever seen. And there are just little touches of the applique um, butterflies throughout the other fabrics as well but I honestly I love this so much I want it in napkins I want it in cushions I want it in a tablecloth all of them um, and this mirror is quite something wow it's just everything is so beautifully thought of I have to remember not to leave my phone places so this is our room here which I obviously showed you when we arrived last night and this is our beautiful four poster bed with double windows this table here i just love i love that it's a little bit lower as well it's not quite so dominating it rather than actually the the florals are doing the the dominating we have another bedroom here complete with a stunning antique screen against this almost like it's sort of a pinky a muddy pinky beige in here and i really really love this but just look at those views. I, I, can't, I can't even believe the views of this property. It is like no views I've ever seen. Mr. Millen Gordon is loading up the car out front. Oh my gosh, that car looks like it belongs here. It's home. <laughs> We're gonna need to uh, get the house now. <laughs> It looks like it belongs here, that car. I oh, know. Yeah. <laughs> but we're just loading up because we're going to head home very shortly. But um, Barbara and Giles are going to just take us next door and show us their newest acquisition, which is the servants' quarters. We're going to get a quick look around there. Obviously, they've just started work on there. They haven't even got heating in there yet. Apparently, tomorrow the heating goes on, and um, they'll be able to move in. Apparently, it's not been it's not been loved in the same way that this house has been loved, but not gonna it's not gonna be long until it's all zhuzhed up to be just like this house and i think it'll we'll definitely have to have a, a trip back to see what it's like then because it's so beautiful here i love it Oh my goodness, oh 
Oh my goodness. Regal Monster. <laughs> yes, it is bedtime. It is bedtime. Come on, good boys. Come on. No wheelbarrowing. Oh, potty. behavior it needs to stop come on in your bed we are back home now and have been settling in for the evening i am absolutely pooped just from having a lovely day really when you're overstimulated um we were driving back and we were just like my gosh i feel like i haven't stopped all day but in the best way possible we had the loveliest day and the food there is just incredible like we had breakfast lunch and dinner there and i'm so impressed i think that was the, the biggest thing that i was sort of taking from being there was was the the scale of what they were doing but yet this was a beautiful family home and family run home and their attention to detail with absolutely everything was flawless and i loved the fact that it was more I think I've already mentioned it, but, I, but the food was much more about those comforts, um, but still being exceptional quality. And one of the things that they pointed out was that it was not a 25 mile radius restaurant. This is like a five mile radius, meaning that everything that goes into the food there, if it's not grown on site, it's harvested from within a, a five mile radius, essentially, even um, over the hills when you're looking out of the windows, you can see the dairy farm where they get all of their milk and butter and things like that. You can hear the dogs down there grumbling away. Um, and it was just lovely that they had that emphasis on, on the produce because obviously as someone who enjoys having their own kitchen garden, I was incredibly inspired. One of the things I'm definitely going to do is grow some rhubarb this year because some of the some of the things that they made with the rhubarb was just exceptional and I'm sure I won't be able to make anything similar but I'm gonna try. They made this incredible rhubarb and meadow sweet. It was almost like overnight oats or I'm gonna have to get the recipe from someone but it was incredible. And um, they also made some amazing preserves like apple and rosemary butter which was phenomenal. I had it on sourdough toast um, this, this morning and it was incredible. And we had eggs and sourdough soldiers, like boiled eggs. And I honestly just can't believe that we've managed to convince Ali to get chickens, to be honest. I think that is, we've really, he's had, I think he can't believe either. Um, but I'm definitely gonna make it my um, mission now because I know not to let Ali have any time to change his mind. So I need to find a good coop. I want obviously one that's beautiful, but I also want one that's gonna be functional. Um, I'm gonna to speak to all of my friends and family that have chickens as well for any tips. Because I don't think we're going to have loads of chickens, but we wanna make sure that they're safe and um, that we're prepared for looking after them. And uh, eating. Uh, no, not eating them, eating the eggs. Um, I know that Ali really wants to ensure that we have the different coloured eggs so that you get the sort of peachy coloured ones, the white ones, the blue ones, the green ones. Um, so we want to have a bit of a, a range of them. Um, but I'm, I'm so excited and I think that, that was, it was just really lovely spending time with Giles and Barbara as well because they were such interesting people having lived that very typical London life and um, giving it all up and moving to the countryside it's actually where Giles grew up and it was just it was really lovely to see their passion and also for me seeing such a beautiful country house being restored essentially to what it was because the house had been split up in, into multiple different units obviously I took you around the the walled garden and that's very much one of their projects I just don't even know where to begin with how much that is going to cost them because two acres of walled garden is a lot um, but I don't think that they ever take on a project that maybe they don't think that they can fulfill because they seem very determined very matter of fact with it and i am very excited to see what comes of that kitchen garden because obviously it's fully functional at the moment they're using it they've cleared it and they're using all of the beds um but i'm sure judging by the way that their house is that they want to make that a real destination as well um and having just bought the servants quarters which obviously is a huge huge space i didn't show you when we were in there because um 
we were very lucky to have their three small children join us and help us with the tour um, but obviously I wasn't going to show them in the vlog so we got a good look again they've got their work cut out but seeing what they've done with Keythorpe Hall is I mean it, I'm sure in no time at all they'll have it looking absolutely beautiful um, but yeah, so I'll put all of the information about Keith or Paul in the description box uh, down below. You can book it for like vacations and things like that. So if you're coming over to England and maybe you want to experience that very typical quintessentially British getaway, then it's a wonderful option. And I don't think I've ever seen a country house situated so beautifully. Um, but you can also book it for weddings, you can book it for birthdays, they also do events there as well and one of the things that they're thinking about at the moment is introducing more events and sort of like day um, events so that you can come and spend the entire day there. Uh, they do a number of gardening sort of like classes with their head gardener Claudio um, but they were talking about doing some kind of like cookery school as well because they went to a place, what was that place in Ireland called Bali? Ballymaloo, they went to a cooking school in, in Ireland and they did like a 12 week cooking course at Ballymaloo and in all honesty, I mean, I don't think I could ever justify the, the 12 week course, but it was, sounded very interesting and I think that that's something that Ali and I really want to um, book on just to be sure that we're making the most of the produce that we're um, growing in the garden and obviously with the eggs coming we're gonna want to be doing some more with the eggs <laughs> although how nice is it gonna be to be able to bake with my own eggs babe excellent <laughs> excellent <laughs> come on it's one of the most common yolks you're gonna do <laughs> I'd be scrambled to find that honestly I don't know how you do it they are genuinely overused during this. <laughs> over eggs with pudding. See, I can't do it. I'm not even... I didn't even say that. Say that. No, that's what I said. I can't no. do it. Terrible. I'm not good. So I just let... Sometimes when we're out at dinner, all of the puns are just going backwards and forwards and I'm just sat there like enjoying them, but I'm not a part of it in that respect. Anyway, I'm going to leave this vlog here because it's probably been quite a long vlog, um, but I hope that you enjoyed exploring this house with me because... It re- <laughs> It's just- I'm surprised it's not coming and sat on the toilet or something. Yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed um, exploring Keythorpe Hall with me because I would really, really want to do more of this stuff on, on my channel because it really does. I feel like it gives me so much inspiration, but it also provides a freshness and it also gives me a little bit of a difference when it comes to content. I love looking around beautiful homes and also understanding how other people live, how they eat, what they value. And yeah, I'd really, really like to do more of this, I think on my channel. In fact, oh my gosh, this is, um. Yeah, I think this is becoming a bit of a thing, but yes, anyway, I'm very grateful to the Lloyd and Townsend Rose uh, team for allowing us to do this with them as well, because it's just so enjoyable and meeting all of these diverse people from different walks of life and backgrounds and experiences. It's just wonderful hearing how they fall into these like situations where they got these beautiful homes and they're sort of restoring them to what they once were. And one of the things I said to Ali on the way home, what I would give to go back it like a hundred years to be able to see that house working as a typical country estate with the, the, the servants quarters and staff and all of the, the sort of opulence of that time of, of life. I would love to go back and, and you know, look at this stuff and experience it and see all of the loveliness of it. He's like, he wants to, he wants to sit. <laughs> you came in and started brushing your teeth when I'm vlogging. Anyway, I will finish the vlog here. I'm going to get myself into bed, but I will be picking up the vlogging camera again tomorrow and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, all the information is in the description box down below and I will see you in my next one. Bye.